bringing you another Azure Everyday video about using Azure Blob Storage in Power Apps. So in case you don't know what Blob Storage is, Blob Storage is a cost-effective way to store your unstructured data. Unstructured data is something like images, videos, documents, and potentially even backups. So there's a couple things you need to know before we jump into this. This is not a premium connector, so you're not going to need any of that special licensing. Uh, you're going to need to know your Azure uh, storage account name and the key for that storage account. So you're going to go ahead and make that a data source in Power Apps and uh, go ahead and use that data source in your app. And as you can see here, uh, I'm using a set function to make this a global variable inside the app. Uh, I'm naming the variable uh, sent blob, just some name. Uh, and then this is when we start using the functions uh, for blob storage once you get everything added in. So it's going to be Azure Blob Storage .create file. This will create a blob in your blob storage. Uh, this first uh, parameter that it's asking for is the folder name. This is also going to be where you're going to put uh, the folder path, potentially, if you have some nested folders. The second line there for this function is just the name. Uh, there's just some couple of stuff here. Uh, as you can see, you can even use functions inside this create file. So we can get today's date. Uh, that selected text value can be something like uh, some sort of type. And then we can get the person's full name. So if we're reporting for, let's say, uh, an excited expense app, this is a really good place to use this if you're going to be storing something like pictures for an expense app. Uh, we can get everything, and that'll be the blob's name. And then that third line there is going to be image. This can be like a camera control or a file select control. And um, we can use this uh, set function in something like uh, an action inside the app, like the on select property of a button. And what this will do is that when that uh, button is selected, it'll set this variable, but it'll also still send this blob, even though all we're doing is setting a variable. Uh, it, in this next slide, I'll show you what that means. You can what that uh, means um, once that is variable is set. As you can see here, we can just put our variable name and then dot ID. We can get the ID of that blob we just sent. Uh, this can be used again in something like a expense app if you're building something like that to store the ID of this blob in let's say uh, a table. And we can use that ID to call back that picture uh, using some other uh, functions. And we can link down uh, all the functions for um, the blob storage uh, connector. So you can see the full range of what this can possibly do. Um, you can call back this blob using the ID and, uh, and a picture control, uh, show that picture for that expense. It's a very powerful way to be able to send pictures, but also use them in your app. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you again in the next video.